SpaceX just humiliated NASA with their high-tech spacesuits. What would you get if you mix pop culture, science fiction fan, and tech billionaire into one mix? Well, you might get more names if you Google this. More like around 100 different names under the tech billionaire tag. Yeah, we Googled that. You thought you were the only one curious here. <laughs> Jokes apart, we can safely assume that 20 of them are pop culture fans. But you can't be a true fan until it shows off in your daily work. And to us, there's only one true fan among these billionaires. The one Elon Musk is. This man takes inspiration from our childhood blockbusters for everything he does. Starship from Star Trek or the new suit right from Bond's movies. You name it. This man used the spacesuits that not only look cool, it just humiliates NASA's design to its core. Want to know more about it? Stay tuned to this video. Welcome to Elon Musk Rewind. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on SpaceX, Tesla, Starship or basically anything related to the multi-talented, influential tech icon billionaire Elon Musk. That being said, let's get started. Those who don't know, just to give you a basic idea. A spacesuit is a garment worn to keep a human alive in the harsh environment of outer space, vacuum, and temperature extremes. Spacesuits are often worn inside spacecraft as a safety precaution in case of loss of cabin pressure and are necessary for extravehicular activity or work done outside spacecraft. SpaceX's spacesuits augment the basic pressure garment with a complex system of equipment and environmental systems designed to keep the wearer comfortable and to minimize the effort required to bend the limbs. Resisting a soft pressure garment's natural tendency to stiffen against the vacuum a self-containing resisting a soft pressure garment's natural tendency to stiffen against the vacuum a self-contained oxygen supply and environmental control system is frequently employed to allow complete freedom of movement. Independent of the spacecraft, and space may be the final frontier, but it's wildly inaccessible and downright deadly to any plucky human without a great spacesuit. Fit also matters a lot too. Much room can make the work more strenuous or even dangerous. Spacesuit is worn by astronauts to keep them alive in the harsh environment of outer space and temperature extremes. So yeah, they are no fashion material, but the necessity to be able to function in space. Now, coming back to the SpaceX suits, as you all know, Michael Bay, the director of the 1998 cosmic disaster movie Armageddon, he once gave an interview discussing the worst crisis in making of the film. He said, Three weeks before our first day of principal photography, I went to see the spacesuits. He said, They look like an Adidas jogging suit on a rack. That's where I almost killed myself. Because if you don't have cool spacesuits, the whole movie is sunk. And, as you can guess, NASA didn't listen. But Elon Musk walks down the same road of thought as a Hollywood director because he is not some hardcore rocket scientist. He's an artist who loves fiction and builds rockets in free time. Or so it seems, judging from the white and black launch and re-entry suits the astronauts Robert Behnken and Douglas Hurley wore when they hopped into their white and black Tesla and rode to the Cape Canaveral launch pad to climb into the white and black SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule for the voyage of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket to the International Space Station. After all, when it comes to capturing the public imagination around space travel, style matters. In fact, the SpaceX suit has more similarities as to James Bond's tux if Tony Stark redesigned it as an update for the next great James T. Kirk adventure. Simplified, graphic, and articulate. The suits are more part of the space-style pop culture comic continuum than the NASA continuum. Well, maybe the real-life Tony Stark didn't, but for that matter, real-life Tony Stark did. Anyways, the prototype was actually designed by Jose Fernandez, a costume designer who worked on Batman v Superman, The Fantastic Four, The Avengers, X-Men 2, and, well, you get the idea. As Mr. Bay said of his Armageddon experience, there are people in Hollywood who are seasoned designers. There are experts in spacesuit helmet designers. It is a very special craft. Mr. Musk simply went to the source and not the usual Air Force and Navy contractors, although when he first contacted Mr. Fernandez in 2016. 
He told Later at that time he didn't know what SpaceX was. Invited to be one of the six people who wanted to try the job, Mr. Fernandez designed a helmet in just two weeks and ended up working with Mr. Musk for six months making the design of the suit that was later reverse engineered to meet space travel requirements. Fernandez said later that during the design process, Musk kept saying everyone looks better in a tusk, whatever their size or shape. The goal, Fernandez said, was to get astronauts to look better in the suit just like they would in a tux. According to Miss Lewis, the space program has always understood the use of visual cues. Mercury suits were originally an Air Force standard green until someone painted them silver. And while there are many theories as to why, he said, including the fact that silver was reflective and made it more visible to astronauts, the most likely conclusion is that it looked new and high-tech. Musk takes this idea to a new level. SpaceX suits appeal to the traditions of the fashion industry. How designers like Courage and Paco Rabanne embodied space travel in the 1960s. The Barbarella era, when it came to embracing the body and optimism. But most of all, they relate to the Hollywood tradition of the idealized human warrior body, often with exaggerated shoulders and an armor of articulated muscles. Musk suits have darker inserts on the insides to visually rejuvenate and shape the upper body, angled shoulder lines, streamlined stitching from collarbone to knee, and matching superhero knee-high boots. They don't have the dongling hoses, buttons, and cables of traditional costumes made by NASA. SpaceX suits can do these experiments in the design area because they are not meant to be used outside of the spacecraft and therefore do not need to be equipped with oxygenation, cooling, and communication capabilities. And unlike most previous suits, which should be comfortable for an astronaut on a couch and therefore often looked baggy and vertically hunched, SpaceX suits look just as clean when standing as when they are lying down. They also meet the myriad and demanding technical requirements for a fully functional garment. A spacesuit is a piece of hardware that must be attached to the ship, not just color-coordinated. This distinguishes the suits as an Elon Musk production. Like Steve Jobs, Musk has long prioritized the importance of design over technology. In 2016, he told startup incubator Y Combinator that he had spent about 80% of his time on engineering and design. Benkin said that we'd have to give the suits a five-star rating. He pointed to some of the primary functions of the spacesuit, which is to protect the astronauts in case of fire or depressurization aboard SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft. These suits didn't have to do that job for them, which was nice, but it was clear that they were ready. The gloves are made to interact with the spacecraft's touchscreen and the spacesuits were made to connect to the seat's umbilicals carrying oxygen and cool air from the spacecraft. To summarize it all, SpaceX's suit are fully functional suit with a design language that's just absurdly movie-like. Not in a bad way, but in a cool way. It represents the future of spacesuits and leaves bulky pieces of suits by NASA into dust. So folks, this is all for today's video. What do you think about SpaceX's new futuristic spacesuits? What would you rate its movie-style look? Does this suit look inspired by James Bond's suit? Let us know in the comments below. And most importantly, if you want to be updated on every single topic related to Elon Musk, then you should consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon. See you in the next one. Until then, peace out.